Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Hotful Boyfriend. We're starting our new year here. Well, sort of. He hibernated, of course. We just had finished up at the shrine with the doctors skulking about. Hope he wasn't stalking us, I just thought of that. Junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. Nothing special this semester, nothing to worry about. Third term. It's still light enough, so maybe we'll go somewhere before I head home. Tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Yep, it's a holiday. Any kind of thing is particularly good. Oh, jeez, I don't even know. This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for race. I've gotten every single one of these wrong, I think. I think I'll buy... Maybe the swollen hemp? I don't even know. I mean, the racing blend has been kind of the go-to for a couple of the birds, but... I'll try the swollen hemp. Swollen doctor... I don't know. He's kind of swollen, because he's kind of puffy and chubby. Hopefully he likes it. Nobody's liked my beans so far. Preparations are complete! Time to give the beans that special sum, birdie. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in the sweet embrace the stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at me, and from his voice he wants me to leave. You know what day it is, Doctor? February 3rd. Glances at the calendar above his desk and then returns to his papers. The anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Is that true? Really? Of course, test tube babies have been successfully grown before then. So what did you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you an avian ovum? Oh god, that's... gross. No! I have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs in a school infirmary. It's legumen time, sir, and you give beans to the boy he likes. So here. Are you giving these to me? They look just like normal beans. It's the fact that I'm giving them to you today that matters. The words are meaningless babble. Perhaps I simply cannot perceive their true meaning. Very well, I'll take them. Put them there and leave. I am busy. Okay. No romantic legumen times for me. Well, hoping for romance from him was probably foolish anyway. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. The year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday. The last day of infirmary duty as well. Hope those bean things didn't uh, botch it there. The doctor is not here yet. Infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. Orderly rows of medicines. The neatly made bed... huh? Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. I'm scared. Whoa. The sheets are stained brilliant red. The foot of a bed... of the bed sits a wash bin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers in the bottom. Blood on the bed is still wet. This is... Students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Yuya. The mysterious smile the doctor gave me when I asked him. I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I need to report it. To the police? I need to get away. I'm gonna get out of here before he... You're early today, Miss Tasaka. You're pale. Here, why don't you lie down? Uh, doctor. This blood. Oh, forgive me. Just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please pay it no mind. Pardon me? Didn't even try to deny it. The the door is locked. Going home so soon. It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over, like you. Doctor, you really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments. You really need to ask that. After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I would never. 
Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Since the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. Brought back the ID card of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. That explains why it was clean. You really helped me out then. We can't leave things like that lying around now, can we? Then Yuya, what did you do to Yuya? Oh, I thought you would figured that out already. He's in here, Mr. Saka. In here. Doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. Oh no, he was the chicken! The big one is... Looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat for Christmas. No, it really was. Oh no. Oh god, that's so awful. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body, so we don't really know exactly where he is now, do we? No! How did he taste? I was worried he might be a little tough. He's so regret not having a better bird to send you. Simply wouldn't do to have you thrown him out. That was Yuya? Ah, that's a beautiful face, Miss Tasaka. I've longed so dearly to see that face. Tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Is that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? I don't want to say, but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. I want to say. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside I love the doctor. I'm afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your eagerness. Earnestness. Pardon me. And so I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity. I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me, so why can't I move? And so, this is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head! It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Can I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, she'll cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry, you won't go to waste. I'll make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Oh, God! Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left wing. You've chased after death's allure most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now. For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly, the world twists, soaked in red. So my life came to an end. We have an emergency report from the Pigeon Nation Project. The researcher we dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. We took sample HB87, the human head. We've not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. The cheese Danish are rather good. Hmm. Are these brutes no mercy? Though I did agree to this from the start. Seem to be in a pick bit of a pickle, Miss Tasaka. Suddenly asked that I give you to them. And to think that until now they considered you worthless. I was the only one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar, do you not? Oh my god, I'm in a jar. You know what the mere exposure effect? states that one can become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them. Conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I have felt new emotions since I acquired you. We have a little time left together, I fear. I do not like the idea of handing you over to them, so I think I shall break you once more. Of course, I do not wish to force you into a double suicide. To break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? <laughs> we have the option of yes, yes, or yes. Oh, thank you. I am so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss Tasaka.
contact in the water, left side. Weapons free, take him down. What the hell? Oh, the happy couple! Look, it's a dead shoe! What the hell? Oh, achievement unlocked! The happy couple! Fantastic! Let's look at the archive! I don't think- is 10 a new one? Homo sapiens resistant capabilities. Adaptability measure for Homo sapiens to be raised and estimated 0.06%. There are fluctuations of a million evolution rates. May need two or three samples. I think that's the only new one. Underground facility fire I don't think is new. Yeah, I think these are all um, ones we've seen before otherwise. Well, that got real creepy and real weird real fast. Um, man. Well, uh... <laughs> what the hell is this game? Uh, that'll do it for now. Next time, maybe we'll uh, romance someone that's a little less murdery. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, click like, subscribe if you want to see more, and um, I'll see you soon.